Hey guys, John Fitzen, my buddy Matt here. What's up guys? Dave's on the cameras. He doesn't want to come around because he's naked. He likes to film naked. I think I would be in a lot worse shape if that were the case. You, I don't give a shit if you're naked. You can film naked, just, you know. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, hey, got to show you something. What is this? A looks, leather satchel. Looks like a pull cue, oh. though. Or a water bag. Or a pull, pull cue. Or a liver. That's what I used to tell people. It's a pull cue. Huh. I used to carry this all the time. I'm going to start carrying it again, but I'll show you what it has. It has two stones. It has red Indian stone. And I do have a Arkansas stone on this one. And I know I'm more of a fan of the Red Indian Stone. I got a little Swiss Army knife. I got a pencil. When you go golfing? Yes. <laughs> and then I got in here. I put all sorts of shit in here usually. But this, these are some of the coolest. I had these scissors in a Randall Attack Survival knife that I cut down. Mm. And they are, these are from France. And they're really good little scissors. They kick ass, dude. Nice. You can even cut through heavy leather with them. Hmm. And so I have those in there. But they fold up really cool. And uh, I don't even know if you can get these anymore. And uh, then I have in here, it's a Gerber steel. I can use it to do all sorts of stuff, even if I had to cut bone. Mm -hmm. Like if you got caught and you're thinking, John, help me, help me. And I couldn't hack through you, your uh, bone with one of my big ass knives. Well, if you, if you couldn't this. hack through my bone <laughs> with one of your knives, I think that there might be a larger issue. Yeah. <laughs> or or I'm secretly the... having superpowers. <laughs> or I wanted it to last longer. No, or Matt, we need to... <laughs> that may be true, because you are <laughs> sick and demented. But what this is, so I can carry this over my shoulder. It's pretty cool. You guys can see it. it has elephant hide over it. But I can just take this and a big ass blade. This one of my newer blades. My bone splitter. With a little bit heavier grind. Look at that. Look how sweet. Yeah. Skull. Er. Yeah. And it has a piece of draft bone. This is Games Buck, I think it is. And big, heavy, thick sheath with buffalo hide over it. Isn't that cool? But anyway, I have this in here, have it over my shoulder, and I've done this where I've had to take it out. So I can have it right over here like this, and I can swing it out like this, undo this thing, and just pull the blade out. And I have a little thing in there that actually hooks over here. I just didn't do it. So I could get it out quick. And I used to carry this in California all the time when I do shows out there. Uh, my other bone splitter. But yeah, people think I'm carrying a pull cue. Hmm. Yeah. So then we were talking to the laws here in Utah. Matt asked me, he goes, uh, concealed gun permit. Is that same for a knife? Well, it's not. It says concealed. Uh, what does it say, Dave? Concealed, concealed firearms. Firearms. firearms, yeah. But the majority of cops that I know, they go, if you got a concealed uh, firearms permit, they don't give a shit. Unless you're doing something really bad, then they'll come off and say, oh, you got a concealed knife, you know, just, you know. But guys that have concealed weapons permits, they're not out there looking to fucking cause shit. They'll Usually. push shit down. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anybody. God, everybody, I know it makes me more... Uh, think legally mm -hmm. what I can do and what I can't do yep you know like uh, this guy came to this coffee shop Navy boy did I tell you about that yeah yeah, yeah. and anyway I was showing some people um, on my phone some guy friends of mine that ride motorcycles and I go god look at this and it's a coffee shop back east and it's on my Instagram, this chick, gorgeous, blonde-headed chick, and she sends pictures, and she's in little pasties and all that. And I go, this is the coffee shop we should go to. And all the guys go, 
let's go. And I go to the back east. And this guy's sitting there, and he, I've always said hi to him. Not, I thought he was a nice guy, and then he goes, he goes, you're a sick fucker. Huh? I go, yeah, that's what my wife says. And I'm looking at my friends, I go, anywhere, they're back east and all that. And he goes, he goes, and you're a fucking asshole. And I'm looking at the guy, and I go, dude, are you gay? <laughs> and all of a sudden, I looked over at my friend, Todd, and this guy comes over, and I caught him right there, boom, you know, and just pummeled his ass. And uh, anyway, I had my sealed weapons on me and all the other stuff. I didn't pull any of my guns. I was in my kill. Hurt my leg when I threw my legs out, but I had him in a uh, chokehold and threw my legs out. And God, all of a sudden I hurt my hip really bad. It's an injury I had when I was in jump school. And I didn't want to let him know I was hurt. You know, Matt's upset because I hurt one of his guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, the cops came down, and he goes, well, God, John, you're heavily armed. And I says, yeah. And he goes, hmm, just like that, you know. And they God, if I pulled out something on this guy and, mm -hmm. you know, I beat him up and shit like that, yeah. He was going to be the bad guy. Even though, but all the cops that were there, they went and talked to everybody. I think he was thinking, this guy started it, because he was a clean cut guy. You know, I'm wearing my kilt and all that. Back, yeah, uh, yeah. I was wearing. Uh, no, I wasn't wearing one of my new kilts. I was wearing one of my old, old ones. But God, the guy even tried to grab my crotch. God, it's what is it? With, is it a navy thing? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the easy act. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, but you know, if you're gonna do something bad, and you got a concealed knife on you and you have concealed gun, they're probably going to charge you with something here in Utah saying, oh, he had a concealed knife on him. Hey, because it says concealed firearms. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway. If you guys know anything else uh, regarding that, be, let us know because uh, we'd love to hear that feedback. Yeah, and uh, Dave, you know, would be really interested in what Pierce Morgan would have to say. And because uh, Dave really likes Pierce Morgan. Does he still have his picture up in his back room? I could fucking care less. <laughs> God, he's so angry, these these Navy guys. He just... <laughs> of course the picture's still up back right there. The back room here is the bathroom. Yeah. So, anyway, Dave, you can say, take his shout out to Pierce Morgan. Love you, Pierce. <laughs> God, he hates him. <laughs> I, God, I hate all the media lately. God, anything you watch, it's just, God, what the hell is wrong with this media? Whatever happened to the old days where they just talked about things that are going on, you know, not making all this shit up. Yeah. You know? It's called social justice convergence, John. They've been swallowed up by social justice warriors, and the social justice warriors are co-opting the system to move towards their goals. The good news is it's an ultimately self-destructive behavior. Whatever happened to Nazism and shit? It's called social justice convergence now. Yeah, they're, every, they're all out there, you're a fascist, you're a fascist, while being fascists. That makes total sense. But you know what? <laughs> hey, where is all these these neo-nazis and all that when all this shit's going on you would think uh, they would be coming up and causing with the snowflakes and all this other stuff you'd think they'd be really into that shit that or they're just waiting for them to destroy themselves yeah none of the events where things have happened mm -hmm. are the kind of events that would appeal to members of the american nazi party and they really wouldn't be welcome Milo Yiannopoulos, I mean, he's a gay Jew. Mm -hmm. No neo-Nazi wants to go talk with or debate Milo no Yiannopoulos. Yeah. Milo would kick their butts. Well, as far as a debate Intellectually. Goes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so anyway, well, I thought I'd show you that. 
Got anything to say, Matt? No. Stay safe out there, guys. What about you, Dave? Remember, bring lots of spare magazines to your next event you want to attend. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good words. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your edges sharp, your powder dry. See you guys. See you guys. Do you want to do anything? Uh, did you want to do a thing on the Trump gun or do you?